You say, I asked you, do you read it? No. You've never read it? No, no, no. I like some principles in the Bible, some scriptures that I've that I've heard. You know, I went to church when I was younger. You oh, know, okay. And, I, and you know, the you know, I don't count that. You know, oh, no, I, okay, no, okay. I yeah, got to be in that I'm, book. Hey, you let know me tell you something. I'm, I'm different. Let me tell you I something. I never did I've, the church I've thing. Never, I, and I want to get into it. And, you know, not that, just the Christian and I don't Bible. Just, I don't want to just really make it about that because it can go crazy. Yeah, yeah, no. I want. I like to get wisdom wherever I can find it. And there's a lot of good wisdom in the Bible. I, I want to read other Bibles too. But, you know, the one thing that I, you know, the, the funny thing about the Bible is it's a lot of Christians who ain't never even read the Bible and they live in their entire eternity on a, book that, on a book they've never even read. But what did I just say? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Man, hey, so Goldie, man, um, man, do you, man, I mean, I'm, I can't wait to get to that wedding, man. I'm coming through. I'm gonna come see you, man. I already know, you know what I'm saying. You know, at some point she gonna lock you in. Uh, it's just gonna take a little bit uh, a type, different type of broad. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be the same. It can't be no regular degler. You know what I'm hey, saying? Never, never mess with the regular degler, man. You know, always top tier, high caliber women. That's yeah. all I mess with. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Good soul individuals. You know, I talk a lot of shit, but man, what I look for in a woman, man, is I like a good soul, man. I like good to be soul. up with somebody I can sleep with at night and not feel like, man, I gotta hide my gun because she might blow my brains out. You know, a woman who's a good hearted individual, and I love them in the South because I meet a lot of good soul women in the South. You know, that's my type of woman. A woman who could get with my program who's kind, who got a good heart, and you know, let me lace her up nice and right, you know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. I, man, I know I'm a, I'm a man, I be in the Word, I'm a god for yeah, man, right? Yeah. Do you even read the Word of God? Do I you read the Bible? I don't, do you, I don't, don't. I like I like a lot of principles in the Bible, you know, I, I, I tell so you, you do, I'm how, how would you know if you ain't read it? What do you mean? You say, I asked you, do you read it? No. You've never read it? No, no, no. I like some principles in the Bible, some scriptures that I've that I've heard. You know, I went to church when I was younger. You oh, know, okay. And, I, and you know, the you know, I don't count that. You know, oh, no, I, I'm okay, no, I okay. yeah, got to no, be in that I, book. Hey, you let know me tell you something. I'm, I'm different. Let me tell you I something. I've never did I've, the church I've thing. Never, I, and I want to get into it. And, you know, not that, just the Christian I Bible. Just, I don't want to just... Really make it about that because it can go crazy. Yeah, yeah, no. I you know want. I like to get wisdom wherever I can find it, and there's a lot of good wisdom in the Bible. I, I want to read other Bibles too, but you know the one thing that I, you know, the the funny thing about. The Bible is It's a lot of Christians Who ain't never even read the Bible And they live in their entire eternity on a, book that, on a book they've never even read But what did I just say? <laughs> exactly yeah. So I just I don't go I don't gauge it like that You yeah. have to be them read To deal with Which me, Bible? Right? Which Bible? It's so um, many it's, different versions it, I've read a bunch of them yeah. But the you gotta go it, The Matthew The Bishop Bible Those were the first ones But it goes back to the scrolls And I'm not gonna go there with right, you man right, right. The canosity of the scroll I'm not more than this really man, you know, I take, I've never I take been like the more and all, I, I, I read all types of books What about the Emerald you know Tablets? The Emerald Tablets, I hadn't read that. that. Okay, I hadn't read it, but I probably could tell you What's some the, books the, you the, ain't the, read. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, that's because yeah. there's so many different things of knowledge. So I think when you a guy that been through a lot, yeah. like myself, and probably like Ken, yeah. and, and you, I, you know, you was just did two weeks, but when you had a lot I'd of time, I've been jail a few times. You know that, was, that was two weeks. <laughs> yeah, time. You know what I'm saying? It was a two. But weeks, when that you one read time. like a lot of knowledge and yeah. you always challenging books, yeah. I think the, for me the Bible was one that was one when you challenge different things and you really dove into it. Yeah. And you tried to find those places where you could well, turn you know, and twist. I was looking at character. You know what I mean? Yeah. I really wasn't looking at. But, I look. I'm like you, know, you just you know, said. Yeah. You know the you Bible. Know uh -huh. The Bible that we read is not the Bible of Jesus' time because Jesus spoke Aramaic. Correct. Right? No and then it was right? converted over to Greek, and then went from Greek Correct. to Latin. Yeah. And eventually, and the old covenant was Hebrew. And you know, back in the day. You know, you have versions of the Bible. Correct. King James version means that that was his version. That's right. You know, and somebody even uh, argued the point that Shakespeare, and in the Bible you can see oh, one word that says Shakespeare, that he was one of the persons that helped alter the Bible. Now, uh, it's over 200 sudden sects of Christianity, right? Mm -hmm. That being said, you know, there's so many perspectives on the religion. It's 72 sects of Islam. You know, correct. You got the Shiites and you got the Sunnis. So you know, when you think of it from that perspective, you understand religious as the man uh, Karl Marx said sometimes can be uh, the opium of the people. You know what I'm saying? I mean? mm -hmm. And when they say the opium of the people, that means that a lot of people are drunk on the religion, they're high on religion, and I think that that's why it's such a sensitive subject. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at the end of the day, when you think of the Bible, it's only one way to think of it that would save. Your life. Come on. That's allegor allegorical, which means symbolic. Yeah. That's right. Um, That's how you see the Bible, uh, uh, allegorical. No, well, no, just, no, no, no. Let, let, me, let me finish. I'm going to let him finish. I'm going to give you something. No, no, it's allegorical. 
which is symbolic, is biblical, which is Bible, and then it's historical. Because, you know, when you talk about right. the Ethiopians, the Canaanites, the Moabites, the Hittites, all these people are actual people, the Palestinians, the Jews, these are actual people in the Bible. That's historical. That's right. So, you know, you can't get a historical value. And then the biblical value is the part where you get into the religious, religiosity, you know, where people start dealing with dogma. You know, and dogma is mainly opinions, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you got, of course, the allegorical part. Now, that's the part I think that Goldie and everybody love. That's the wisdom part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that's proverbs yeah, yeah, yeah. and, yeah. you know, different things like that. And it's, and it's really like in, in, in uh, every message, there's a lesson. And there's certain lessons that you can be taught, you know, like you don't give a man a fish, you teach a man how to fish. That's right. You know, these are principles that are in the Bible. Those are allegorical. So, you know, but when you want to get into the historical aspect of it, you know, the original Bible, and a lot of people don't know this, was written on papyrus papers. That's right. Papyrus <laughs> are leaves that grow in Egypt. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. So these leaves were transferred, the original transfers were to a, 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 a Rylan, you know, Berlin, Rylan Museum. And uh, they call it Rylan papers. They're not called the papyrus papers no more. And that's where you see tampering, you know, and, and uh, uh, plagiarizing. And, you know, the Romans and the Greeks, they did plagiarize a lot of the teachings that were the original teachings, because like people say Jesus, right? And a lot of people ain't gonna like what I'm about to say. Jesus was unequivocally, unquestionably a black man. The Bible said that his hair was like wool, you know, and that his feet was like Bro, a rise yeah, bunch in the oven. And then when you go and you look at all of the Madonnas in the uh, Vatican and in, in the Catholic Church, it's a picture of a black a Mary and a, and a black Jesus. And then they said Jesus fled from Jerusalem to Africa, to Egypt. In Africa, ain't nothing but people, you know, our colors, you know what I'm saying? So dark and light skin and different color. How can somebody be of European descent and flee to Africa? He would immediately be spotted. You ain't saying nothing wrong, kid. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing I was gonna say is just the way that, that I look at it is when you read from cover to cover, you look at people's character traits, just like you read those other books. You, yeah. look, you can see things coming before they get to you because yeah. of the way you've already studied and analyzed people's character, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's more like that for me, as far as who wrote it and when. And I, okay. I get, I do all that. I know yeah. all, just like I've studied so who, it like who, that. who wrote it? No, like, do, you, like, no. do you believe the Bible was wrote by God? I think it was different people that wrote it in different times. Okay, because a lot of people say they say uh, that God wrote it through well, whoever, whoever that, wrote that, it. That go with Quran and everything else, like the the, the uh, revelations. Yeah, the Muhammad, yeah. you know, couldn't read or write, but, but, but and see, then he had, you know, a uh, 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 his a messenger come to him, and and somebody else wrote it while he while he pretty much was giving the message. Yeah. So one thing I'm saying is, I don't look at I, I get it the technical parts, but yeah. when you read it. There's nothing in there that's gonna enslave you or nothing like right, that. Right. You can become cap a captain well, well, of this whole situation well, yeah, yeah, because well, of your thinking. That's what I'm saying. So and all see, this yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. enslave uh, my yeah. mind, you're yeah, not gonna yeah. do that. I didn't read it. If you, know, that. if you a thinker, like <laughs> any book you that I read, it. anything that that's I read, I don't I just you accept that. it all. That's I, why I, I There's some things that I say, okay, I like it. Some things I don't. But I feel like not everybody does that. That's why I asked you that. I know what you would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, there's certain things that's good and all. Oh, babe, my mom used to say, she used to say, uh, she used to say, I, 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 mama, the devil made me do it. She said, boy, I, you know, yeah, I'm going to beat your, beat the mess out you. <laughs> the devil didn't make you go and steal that money out of my purse. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you put your hands in there, you stole the purse. That's now you it. try to blame it on the devil. You know, so a lot of times people always try to blame it on the devil. But, you know, the thought is the cause of it all. As a man think of, so is he. See, the sin don't lie the in the actual sin. It lies yeah. in the act. I mean, the sin don't lie in the act. It lies in the thought. You know, when you uh, 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 conceived your child, you know, when you and your wife had a child, y'all conceived it mentally first. You thought about having sex with her mentally, and then y'all, the physical act followed the thought, right? So that's one of the things in religion that we have to understand. You know, in order to really dumb down and to, and, and to hunker down on religion, one have to understand that we have to, the, the battle with God and the devil is not in the books, it's not in the church, not in the mosque, but in the thought. See, without a soldier, a, a soldier never knows strength. Without an enemy, you would never know how strong you is, right? So what the Bible does and what religion does and all this other stuff does, 
it provides vices and it provides circumstances and situations for us to battle. Wow. You know, yeah. and that's what that's what it's all about. That's, that's real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.